Good day, beloved exemplars. I am Pastor Irene and welcome to Senior Moments to Remember. This daily program is made specially for you, our lolos and lolas. And every day we will get to worship the Lord together, learn words of wisdom from the scriptures, pray for you, your family, and your needs, and a lot more of daily surprises. Feel free to write your prayer requests in the comment section and please let us know where you are watching from. This week, we are learning about the I Am Statements of Jesus. Last time, we talked about I Am the Bread of Life. For today, we will focus on I Am the Light of the World. Let us read 1 John chapter 1, verse 5 in ESB. It says there, This is the message we have heard from Him and proclaimed to you, that God is light and in Him there is no darkness. Now let's open up our hearts and let's worship together. Good morning, exemplars! Eternity long and find there 
Good day to you. Thank you for joining us today. This is Pastor Joey, and this is your wow moment. Wow meaning words of wisdom. And we know that wisdom is very precious to you because you have lived it, you have proven it, and now you are enjoying the fruit of wisdom in your life. Our wow moment today will be coming from John chapter 8, verse 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Now, Jesus said that whoever follows him, meaning being a disciple of Jesus, a follower of Jesus, will not walk in darkness. And where was he when he was speaking this? He was actually in the presence of religious leaders in the temple. And he was not teaching this in order to validate them or to point people to them. He was teaching this to point people to himself. And why did Jesus have to point people to himself? Because the world as it is, is in darkness. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. And this present darkness is where Jesus wants to lead people out of. It's where Jesus wants to lead you out of. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness on them has light shone. Jesus said in John 12 verse 46, I have come into the world as light so that whoever believes in me become a disciple of him, become a follower of him, may not remain in darkness. And because Jesus is the light, people will be able to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that people may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in Jesus. There is a darkness that is present right now. This pandemic is bringing fear, anxiety, depression in the lives of people. And you can help them out of it. You have the light of life in you. And you can tell people about Jesus. You have Jesus in you. You have the joy of the Lord inside of you. And because you have the joy of the Lord inside of you, you can tell them about Jesus. You can point people to Jesus. In John chapter 8, verse 12, again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. This light of life is in you because you are a follower of Jesus. You are a beloved of Jesus. You have the light of life in Jesus. And let that light shine. Philippians 2.15, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. In the decades that you have lived, you have seen, you have proven that even if you go through wars, even if you go through political unrest, even if you go through financial crisis, and you've seen this in the decades of your life, as long as you hold on to Jesus, Jesus brings you out of that darkness into light. It's going to be okay as long as you hold on to Jesus. Jesus will bring you out. Jesus will bring your family out into light. So keep loving Jesus and keep telling others about Jesus. Remember, we don't have to fear this darkness because the greater this darkness, the brighter the light will shine in you.
keep pointing people to Jesus. This has been your wow moment. Thank you for joining us today. Moments to remember. Good morning to you watching Senior Moments to Remember. This is Pastor Willie welcoming you to our segment called Say Amen. Today we'll be talking to you about a man in the Bible who accomplished great things for God at his old age of 912. His name is Seth. Seth means appointed. And during his time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. What a great accomplishment. He became the primary influence to man to call upon the name of the Lord. Let's look at Genesis 4, 25 to 26 in ESV. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and called his name Seth, for she said, God has appointed for me another offspring instead of Abel, for Cain killed him. To Seth also a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. At that time, people began to call upon the name of the Lord. Something happens when a person, uh, a man or a woman, becomes a parent. The reality of God becomes so strong in his life. Just like when I, was, I became a father, I was holding my firstborn son, and I exclaimed to God, God, this is a miracle. The presence of God was so strong. The reality of God is so real. And same with Enoch. Enoch, when he became the father of Methuselah at the age of 65, the Bible says that he began to walk with God for the next 300 years of his life. And same with uh, Seth. Seth, when he became the father of Enosh, people began to call upon the name of the Lord. It was because Seth was the primary influence. He had an encounter with God. And same with the Eve. Eve named her son Appointed. And we know that Eve was deceived by Satan once to eat the forbidden fruit. And then uh, as we were wondering what happened to Eve, now we can see here that she has a spiritual uh, understanding of what would happen to Seth and no named her son Appointed or in Hebrew Seth. So indeed it was really during the appointed time of Seth when he became the father of Enosh that people began to call on the name of the Lord. All of us are born with an appointment, not by accident. Acts 17, 26 to 28, from one man he made all the nations that they should inhabit the whole earth and he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him. Though he is not far from any one of us, for in him we live and move and have our being. All of us are born at an appointed time with a purpose. And we are called to fulfill that purpose. David fulfilled his purpose in Acts 13, 36, A and IV. Now, when David had served God's purpose in his own generation, he fell asleep. God is involved in our lives for us to be able to fulfill that purpose. He works in us to will and to act in accordance to his good, his good purpose. Philippians 2.13 and IV, For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Just like Seth, you can be the primary influence to your family, to your gener ne generation next after you, and for the next two more generations to come. That is a good accomplishment. And... We are born at an appointed time with a purpose and God is at work in us to fulfill, to will and to act in accordance to God's purpose. What a beautiful promise and I want you to say amen to that. Why don't you repeat with me? Repeat after me. I was born at an appointed time with a purpose and God is working in me to will and to act according to his good purpose in Jesus name. Amen. So that's all for today. I hope you learned. See you next time to our segment called Say Amen. God bless you all. Moments to remember. 
Hello, wonderful exemplars. This is Pastor Bong once again from East Campus, and it's again a privilege for me to be with you today in Senior Moments to Remember in our segment, Daily Surprises. It's great to see you again, wonderful lolos, lolas, nanais, and tatais. And today, I would like to pray for you for those of you who are celebrating their birthdays this month. It's a privilege for me to be praying for you. May I ask a show of hands for those who are celebrating their birthdays this month? Yes, I can see you po. Happy, happy birthday. And it's a privilege for me to be praying with you today. But uh, before that, let me share with you a passage in the scripture, a very familiar passage in the scripture that says that David said in Psalms 139 in NIV verses 13 to 14, For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Tai, nai, uh, lolo, lola. You have been so much wonderful because you have been created by God. You are his masterpiece. Psalmist David said, your works are wonderful. So when he saw himself, he really acknowledged God that he, the works of the Lord, the work of God is so wonderful in his life. So when we are looking at you, nai, tai, uh, Lolo and Lola who are celebrating your birthdays, you have lived a very exemplary life. And that when we see your life as your lifestyles like that, we are just so amazed how God has uh, done something great into your life. And before we pray, I would just like to remind you again that you have a very purpose uh, here in this life. In our, in our uh, theme this day in John chapter 8 verse 12 again Jesus said I'm the light of the world whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life as you've been living all these days for the many years God has blessed you in your life you have the light of life Jesus said to his disciples that I am the light of the world so when Jesus said, I am the light of the world, we are his disciples and we know that when we follow Christ and when we know nai, tai, that you follow Christ, you will never walk in darkness because you have the light of life of Jesus and you have been created to be the light of this world. So we don't say that even in the last part of the years of our lives that we are no longer productive, God can use you as the light of the world. The, even we are in, in pandemic this time, thank God that in our church we're doing a lot of evangelism and you can do to, evangel to do evangelism by phone calls or via Zoom, something like that because you have been created by the Lord with a purpose. You have been created uh, wonderfully and God has a plan for you to be likewise a light of this world. Amen. So right now, let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for our wonderful exemplars who are celebrating, Lord, their birthdays this month. Thank you so much, Lord, for another year that you have given to them. We know, Father God, that even as they're spending these years in their life in this age, they will continue, Father, to be productive, as you have said, that when you, Jesus, the light of the world, when they follow you, when we follow you, we have the light likewise. We have the light of life in this world and that you have created them, Father, to have a very purpose in their lives and that is to be a light of, the, of this world. We give you praise and we are just so grateful for the life that you've given them. We celebrate this year's Father in their lives. Thank you so much indeed because we do know that you will use them continually and let them be very productive. Lord, lengthen their days, Father. Thank you so much indeed for your goodness to them. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you, Paul, once again. Happy, happy birthday. See you again soon. God bless, Paul. Moments to remember Moments to remember the righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like the cedar of Lebanon. Moments to remember. Moments to remember. 
planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still moments to remember. Hello, Paul, and welcome once again to our memory verse segment. Yes, I know you can do this. All right. Our memory verse for today is found in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. It says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Wow, that's really easy, but that is so true in our lives. We can do everything because of Jesus Christ. And now, as always, we will get someone to help us. And for today, we will have Sister Letty Jimenez. Hello, bro. Hi. Mommy Letty, can you do this book? Yes, I can. Take it away. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through him who strengthened me. Wow, that is really good. Thank you so much, Paul, Mommy Letty. And right now, of course, we will go to the first round of our memory verse. We will remove a few words, okay? Here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> all right. Philippians 4.13 I can through Awesome! I know you got that right because you are so good at this. Now why don't we go to round two? Round two, we will remove more words, okay? Here we go, Bo. Philippians 4.13 I can do Oh, yes! Praise God! Thank you so much! Do you believe that? Amen. Amen! Now, why don't we recite it all together with Mommy Letty? Are you ready? Here we go! Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Him who strengthened me. Oh, yeah! Thank you so much for Mommy Letty and thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, in our memory verse segment. God bless you all, Paul. Moments to remember. Good morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Babes. It's time to sing along with me. Come on, let's sing, Paul. I will sing the wonder story. I will sing the wonder story.
and God bless. See you the next time. Moments to remember. Hello, this is Pastor Latin, and welcome once again to our prayer time. Thank you so much for always allowing us to be part of your life every time you share with us your prayer request. It is truly such an honor to pray for you. So today remember that Jesus is the light of the world and whoever follows him will not walk in darkness. So as Jesus answers your prayers today, let your light shine and let other people know about God's faithfulness. So seniors, how do we pray? Fervently and with joy. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your grace throne today and we thank you for all the wonderful things and for all the answered prayers you have given us. Father, right now we faithfully lift up to you our dear seniors and their prayer needs. Thank you, God, that you will answer their prayers according to your good promises. For Sister Saul, Father, I pray for an open door for a new business for her son. Thank you, God, for wisdom and guidance on whatever business he will be starting. As he commits his plans to you, you promised him that you will make those plans a success. Also, Father, for Sister Joyce, I pray, O oh God, that you will bless her with creativity and productivity to cope with the boredom she is having right now because of the situation. Father, thank you that you will use her for your own glory and you will just speak to her heart that she's not alone and she will always be productive in everything she would set her hands to. And Lord, I also pray for the continuous safety and protection of Sister Joyce and her entire family. Thank you, God, that your faithfulness will be their shield and their rampart. You will not allow this virus to come near their dwelling place in Jesus' name. And Father, for Sister Carmen, we thank you, Lord, also for keeping her entire family protected. Thank you that your hedge of protection will be around them. Your angels, O oh God, will be commanded concerning them to keep them safe and keep them protected. And Father, also pray for Sister Vicky. God, I ask that you will just strengthen her, give her wisdom beyond measures in order for her to successfully complete all the requirements in the team ministry. Thank you, Father, that she has this desire to serve you, Lord, even at this time. And Father, I lift up to you all the people who have been watching us today. Thank you, Lord, that you will bless them and answer their prayers. Thank you, Father, that you will bring healing and strength upon their bodies, O God. And you will cause miracles to take place in their lives. Your provision will flow and your blessings will just abound in their lives. We give you praise and glory, O God. We thank you for your faithfulness in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you again tomorrow for another time of prayer. Thank you again so much for joining us in today's episode of Senior Moments to Remember. Let's pray. Lord, I lift out to you the seniors. I pray that you will let their light shine before others and use their lives to always bring honor and glory to your name. In Jesus' name, Amen. See you again next time for another episode of Senior Moments to Remember. God bless! Moments